Hello, friends from the comic and manga world. My name is Hector. And my name is G. And we're here to talk to you about our picks for July 10th, 2023. Uh, G and I work for Penguin Random House, and we manage sales into the direct comic market around the world. So the titles that we talk about in these videos are from the publishers that we represent into those markets. Also, we want to let you know that you can find us on social media at PRH International Comics uh, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and also on YouTube, where this video is currently. So um, without further ado, let's get to the list. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing because we had a, a week we didn't do the video and it feels yeah. like uh, years for me so sorry if uh <laughs> if i get stuck this is your first pick sorry yes uh this is my first pick this is signals volume one by uh, nika who is the writer and also the illustrator for this title uh this is like um a dark horse and papas uh like lab uh if you could call it that and it centers around mal song and honestly it's just the character description that really like drew me in because <laughs> i identify very much <laughs> with this character um mel is a investigator but on her downtime she loves watching soap operas in her pajamas eating instant ramen and internet shopping, which is all the things that I also like to do. <laughs> <laughs> but she is very special in that she has a secret weapon and that's the ability to read minds. <laughs> um, and then, you know, threats are a brewing in the shadows of New York City as that happens tends to happen all the time in New York City. Yeah. Um, and so she'll have to investigate and do um, her, you know, superhero insight type uh, type of deal. And you follow the journey here. So I'm super excited for this. Uh, you could tell how fashionable she is with her heart glasses. And um, just so you know, this is like a, a print debut title um as i mentioned um with club clubbing with uh tapas so this is really exciting and cool and yeah my pick for this week excellent and here's my first pick and it's actually another tapas original coming to print uh by dark horse this is called uh tomahawk angel volume one um, this is written by Odysseus uh, Theodoratos and it's edited by Chris Robinson. Odysseus is a, a comic book manga artist from Greece, and um, he has done, uh, I think he's done other work with Tapas, but this is like one, you know, the biggest one. And this is a very cool story um, about. There, the year is 2050, and this main character that you see on the cover, I can't find her name, but <laughs> she's an 18-year-old, and she wakes up with a bump on her head and a Nisha, as people do in soap operas, and <laughs> and uh, she realizes all of a sudden she's in, uh, you know, in the world where that is overrun by monsters, and you see one of the monsters behind her here on the cover. Um, and, you know, some uh, another boy, a boy comes in and saves her from monsters, but she has to deal with this. So it's a little bit of sort of, like I said, soap operas where there's an easy ex, but really it's a little bit like 20 days, eight days later or The Walking Dead when they wake up and then all of a sudden the, the world it's is um, ended. Um, in this case, there's this uh, scientist, part of the, the what we know is that there was a scientist who, um, with the help of artificial intelligence, got rid of most humans. And 
and uh, corrupted the world basically, and now she has to survive in this world. It's a very cool, the illustrations are extremely cool too. Uh, and like uh, G mentioned for the th previous title, it's really cool, this collaboration between Tapas and Dark Horse. Now we get print editions of um, some of the first stuff. So very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, next we're doing cover picks, and I believe mine yep. is first. And yep, this is Panya, The Mummy's Curse. This is issue number two. I was super interested in this, not only because the cover is really cool, but the premise, because this is set like thousands of years before uh, BPRD and um, Ragnarok. So we have Panya, who is the main character here, encircled by a bunch of cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the cover and um, as a girl in ancient Egypt she witnesses the fall of the dynasty and gifted or rather cursed it's probably cursed <laughs> I don't know I don't know if you would want to have this power but she's able to see um, visions from the beginning and and the coming of a dragon so that's a lot of responsibility that I wouldn't want to have those visions yeah. either. But I really like this cover because I feel like the premise is encapsulated by this cover. Like you have this looming hand and darkness that's like hovering over her head. And the the, the complications and the visions that she see in her head as well. And obviously they're, you know. I just really love this cover. It's 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 really beautiful to look at. So yeah, it's my pick for this week. Yes. And next up is my uh, first cover pick, and this is Captain Marvel: Dark Tempest Two, the Rose Bash variant. And G and I both are big fans of Rose Bash. And here we have the trade dress, and then we have a virgin uh, one in fifty version of this. And you see Monica Rambeau photon, photon on the cover, looking amazing up in space. Uh, it and just in time, not just for for this series, Captain Marvel, Doctor Tempest, but also for the movie The Marvels coming up, where she's going to be heavily featured there. So very beautiful uh, as all the covers by Rose Bish, definitely. And this is one of my favorites, definitely. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So my next pick is Godzilla, The War for Humanity. This is issue number one. This is variant B. Um, so this cover art is by Jake Smith, who also did the art for Blood Force Trauma. I, I can't remember. I think that was... Um, in our previous video, we talked about it or something like that, because um, I was really interested in that title as well, because the art yeah. is so beautiful. Um, but anyway, I chose this cover because it's really clean. I, I, I like the vibrancy of it. It's very much in the style that uh, Jake Smith does. And you have like a bunch of kaiju monsters, uh, like flooding the cover um and looking forward to this title as well because uh, you know it's what they call a zoosporia of all of these monsters um flooding into the story so really cool to see this um on fsc this week yeah yeah very cool next up uh another one on my pick, Dark Spaces, the Hollywood special number one, variant C by Jacob Edgar. And this is the new, um, the new Dark Spaces miniseries, part of this series that <clears throat> it's, um, it's presented by Scott Snyder. And the first one, Wildfire, was even written by uh, Scott Snyder. And then the second one, which is still also running i think we have a few issues left um it's good deeds with different writers and uh, different writing and, and create a team and then this is the third one that's gonna uh the hollywood special they all have to if you don't know they all deal with sort of a claustrophobic situation um in this case um i love first of all i love this cover 
uh, Jacob Ecker, and I I didn't know much about Jacob Ecker before, but he recently actually uh, did the illustrations for the one for uh, Dark Horse also, and, and he, um, for Dark Horse, and he is amazing. It's very beautiful art. And then this, on top of being beautiful art created by him, is also sort of very reminiscent of um, Hollywood in the 50s uh, posters. And it reminds me a lot of like Alfred Hitchcock and that kind of era, like, uh, and Casablanca and that kind of era of posters, which I love because I grew up with that kind of, I didn't grow up in the 50s, by the way. My dad did, and he showed me a lot of those movies and made me a fan of that, just in case. Yeah, I'm not 70 years old like my dad. Um, and the story, I'm just not going to, I'm going to go real quick. The Hollywood special is the name of a train where the main character, uh, Vivian, I think I heard last name they put, Vivian Drake, which is a very Hollywood name for that uh, era. Uh, it's doing the rounds in the 1942 on a train uh, to around the US to gather support for the war effort. And they stop in this, um, in this coal mining town. And all of a sudden, there, I mean, Vivian Drake is a very, it's supposed to be a, like a very famous Hollywood star. And sh they get to this town and they realize nobody's there to receive them. And there's just this one kid saying there's trouble in the mind and they go. And there is trouble in the minds. And I'm not going to say anymore because you need to read it. It's very, very cool. Um, and it's, like, there's a lot of, also I wanted to mention, there's a lot of very cool covers for this um this it was really hard for me to pick this is written by jeremy lambert and uh illustrated by claire rowe and claire rowe does a couple of covers that are also very cool and the artist named danny also makes uh, a beautiful beautiful cover so check them out that's it um so next we have i announcements <laughs> I'm yes. like, did I pick one more? I don't think so, um, because we had to limit our time. There are so many other stuff that's really cool that we couldn't pick. Um, but, you know, a, a, a huge con happened uh, recently, the Anime Expo of 2023. And obviously there was a plethora of announcements and it we would be here for a really long time if we were to go over all yeah. of them. So we just picked our our favorites, the ones that we were excited for. Um, so first up is something that uh, is very typical. This is like, yeah, this is like encapsulates everything that I love, yep. <laughs> basically. Um, so uh, there was an announcement for this title. Obviously, that is not the final cover. As you can see, it uh, there's no the <laughs> Japanese, uh, you know, language characters are on there. That's not the final cover. And then um, this is Kai X Yakuza, Bound by Law. This is volume one. And then I also put the poster image of the live action that I believe came out last year. So for fans of the live action, they'll want to pick up the manga as well. And this is about um, Ishiro, who's an agent with the Tokyo Metro Public Security Bureau. And he receives orders to closely surveil this, of course, a Yakuza hotshot. Um, and this Yakuza has the tendency to bed with like a number of influential male politicians. They both have like a common goal like these two polar opposite opposite people and they end up being sort of entwined in this cold case which is a disappearance of Rian Naka Nakaba who is Ishiguro's the main character who's part of the bureau his senior um and in terms of the yakuza um the yakuza uh Shiro, who's his name, he's involved with the cold case because Rian is his sister. So hopefully I'm not confusing things. So the mutual, like, they, they have mutual interest on this case because of this one person. 
and they're uh, like very determined to uncover the truth of what had happened here. And so these two polar opposites team up, secretly team up, and they pretend to be lovers, <laughs> as one does, <laughs> uh, to pick up uh, the trail of Rian to make to to figure out what happened. Um, yeah, with this person. So yeah, really cool. Really excited for this title. And this is coming out of Kadancha. Yeah, definitely practice everything you love into one. Oh into yeah, one it's like every it's amazing. aspect of it. It's amazing. It. Yeah. yeah, people who really like this, who really like banana fish, it will like something like this. I, because, I was getting vibes yeah. of banana fish as you we were talking. Yes. Yeah, 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 that. for sure. So yeah. All right. Next up is uh, we have two announcements. We decided to pick each one of us one. So they also announced uh, at Anime Expo that the anime for A Sign of Affection is coming in January 2024. On the left, you see the cover for the English manga. And then yeah, you see uh, some of the design characters on, yeah. the, on the right for the anime. The story for this is very straightforward. It's a, 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 a teenage romance. It's uh, Juki, who's the female character that you see here. She is definitely uh, a college student. And, you know, but she has been able to uh, really involve with herself, has a lot of friends, uh, and she communicates with her notebook and with her phone, and then she's on social media. And, but then, at, at one point, she has this encounter with a tourist who bumps into her, and she kind of uh, doesn't know what to do. And this person, who's a friend of a friend, kind of jumps in to help. Uh, his name is Itsomi, and Itsomi Kon helps her uh, in that situation, and they kind of connect, and it's this chance encounter. Uh, and even though he's very smart, he has he knows three languages. He doesn't know sound language. And then obviously, there's this connection outside of language, outside of communication that starts to happen, and romance ensues as uh, it happens in these among romance mangas. Uh, we uh, 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 we have available the mangas up to volume four. The Kadancha has been published in this on their a magazine, and I see here on the announcements that July is like they're going to publish the last volume of it that hasn't been published, obviously, in English. So it's still an ongoing uh, series in English. So perfect timing for this to keep coming as the anime comes out in January. So looking forward yeah. to this. There was tons of other announcements, like you <sighs> said. There's announcements. There's trailers for Attack on Titan, the final, 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 final episode. And there's announcements for Tokyo Revengers, the second part of the second season. And there's so much. So look up, uh, go online, look up those announcements because there's a lot of exciting stuff coming out. Yes. I did want to mention that um, A Sign of Affection uh, has a teaser out. So definitely oh, yes. uh, check Sorry. that right. out. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And actually the um, artist, the, the creator Morishita, Morish, Morishita. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Morishita. my pronunciation is horrible. Um, but um, on the on the slide here, you'll see that in like celebration of the manga getting an anime, uh, they illustrated like what you'll see not on the because you'll see the volume one on the slide, but right next to it is like the illustration they drew. Um, in excitement for the announcement. So yeah. really cool uh, that this is, and this has a ton of fans. So oh, yes, I forgot to mention, this is a big, yeah. big uh, series that people are really fanning over so yeah. around the world. So yeah, mm -hmm. looking forward to this. And that's it. Thank you for joining us. I, uh, we hope you like this video. We do these weekly, so come back and we do other content. So check us out here on YouTube, but also, like I mentioned at the beginning, on other social media channels like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, under at PRH International Comics. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Bye, everyone.